remind you, ladies and gentlemen, if you would again turn to the video board with a retrospective of what this man has meant to so many of his teammates, so many through the years. When I think of Trevor, I think of a man who brought integrity, who brought uh, charisma, who brought himself to the ballpark every day to help wherever he could. Now, there's so many pitchers that he went through through the years that he taught and helped. And with Trevor Hoffman, I think of the man that he was more than the pitcher that he was. Never one of the guys who, who uh, shied away from the younger players. Trevor always um, was there to answer questions to help me uh, along the way. how good of a guy he is. Um, you know, there's not too many people like him, really, in, this, in the whole game. This game's been going on over 100 years. So, uh, you know, he's just a classy guy. And, you know, I was honored just to be a teammate for a little short time that I was. He was always a team guy. He was always a guy who wanted he wanted the players to go have dinner together. He was more than just numbers. Uh, his dedication, uh, how great he was with kids, being a great ambassador to the game. He's just a, a special player for me. For the popular organization, Padres were over to him. The one thing that I think I learned from Trevor just watching him from the booth was that no matter how well he did or how poorly he did on the field, which was, you know, not a lot, obviously. But he was always the same. He was the epitome of a guy turning the page. If he started to establish himself, he started to see things, his work ethic, started to see how involved he was in the community, started to see how involved he was with family and now, those things were very important to him, and all the years that I played with him, that never changed. That fire was always there. Kind of a man. 
and have all these relievers now in Major League Baseball that have all these songs, and you, of course, and I know where it started. It started here in that magical summer of 1998 when he came out for the first time to get, of course, yet another save, and they played Hell's Bells. A Padre and a Padre tradition only through the years to the video board once again. Um, I would run inside, get ice on, and run back out as fast as I could just to hear the Hell's Bells. And I mean, every time you hear it, even uh, when we play it, you just get chills you know, on your skin, up your spine, so uh, it's just, uh, there's never going to be another person like that, you know, there's never going to be a song that fits somebody so well. Hey everybody, that's Brian Johnson here from SADC, and all the boys want to congratulate Trevor Hoffman on an amazing career. Uh, we're really proud of the fact that you picked our song, Hell's Bells, for your entrance for maybe a decade or more. And uh, you know what it is, when we played that song at concerts, uh, we used to rock the crowd, but you rocked the mountain, mate. And so, you know what, Trevor, you're rolling thunder, pouring rain, coming on like a hurricane, hell's bells. So once again, congratulations, mate, from Angus and Malcolm, Cliff and Phil, and myself, Brian. Just give them hell, kid. You rock. to the video board. He's been a fan of his for a long, long time because he happens to love baseball as well as running baseball. The commissioner of Major League Baseball, Mr. Bud Seeley. Hello, Trevor. On behalf of Major League Baseball, it is my distinct honor to congratulate you 